Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to another Madden 20 online CFM game. We are now in week 5 of the 2021 season here in the Premier Madden League. It's the one quarter point of the 2021 season for our Miami Dolphins. We are 4-0 on paper, but a quick recap looking through our first games of the season will let you know that this undefeated start has been anything but normal and anything but easy. Last week's game against the Buffalo Bills was probably the most calm game of the season where we kicked three field goals and won the game. The previous week, we passed for 15 yards and won the game. Like, what is the 2021 Miami Dolphins? They're undefeated, and that's all that matters, right? The New Orleans Saints this season have not won a game, and that's all that matters to them, even though the Saints have one of the best rosters in this CFM, and their 0-3 star is pretty surprising. So would it be that much of a shock if the Saints defeated the Dolphins today? Well, you just got to tune in and find out any given Sunday, right? Our Miami Dolphins are going to be straightened heading into this game today because Lin J. Dixon, our rookie running back, has unlocked his second superstar ability, which just so happens to be Human Joystick, one of the best abilities to have on a running back in this game. So we will see what Dixon can bring to the table today. The guy we are going against using the New Orleans Saints and Nefarious, he has his own YouTube channel that I will link in the comment section below. He uploads his own CFM videos with his New Orleans Saints. So if you guys want to watch someone besides myself in the CFM, definitely check out Nefarious's channel as we are underway in Miami. It's week five action, Saints versus Dolphins. Do the Dolphins stay undefeated or do the Saints pull off the early upset and get their first win of the year? If they want to win this game, they have to dial up Michael Thomas's number early and often as Alvin Kamara breaking a man's ankles and getting to midfield. The man at the helm today, Kyle Allen. Yeah, that Kyle Allen from the Carolina Panthers. Drew Brees is still on the Saints, but he has regressed immensely, so he is riding the pine right now, and the job, starting quarterback, it's all Kyle Allen's, and he's doing pretty well so far until he gets taken down by Jerome Baker, a loss of six on the play. Allen, watch out! This time it's big Derek Brown. The big Brown truck forcing the loss of 10, and now this is borderline field goal range as the Saints just hand it off. A mercy call right there to give Will Lutz a chance to put up the first points of the game. It is up, and it is good in sunny Miami. The Miami weather cannot always be kind we have seen in this CFM sometimes it can be really rainy and really ugly sometimes though we get a nice game like this and I enjoy these games where it's nice and sunny because especially with our Dolphins team and our passing attack or lack of passing attack I should say we'd like to air this ball out and you know, these weather conditions definitely favor the passing game, unless DeAndre Hopkins does not get both feet in bounds. Last time we were on the gridiron, DeAndre Hopkins had a pretty good game. Six catches, 100 yards. We finally got D-Hop involved. We need to continue to get number 10 involved if we want to win football games, because not every game is going to be like week three against the Saints. Oh, down goes Tate. It's Cam Jordan off the edge. Jordan looking for a sack again, but this time Tate gets it off, and the young Andre Hopkins makes the catch. D Hop. Oh man, he might be in for a big game today as Shaquem Grant trying to slitter his way through, maybe getting a yard. Second down, Lynn J. Dixon using that human joystick to avoid the tackle for loss. It's now third down a goal at the four late first quarter. It's a screen pass. Boston Scott, welcome to the end zone. The Miami Dolphins cap off an impressive opening drive with a touchdown on the screen pass. Definitely catching the Saints by surprise on the 10th and finally play of the drive. Right before this game, the New Orleans Saints actually pulled off a pretty big trade. They got DJ Chark and Salvan Ahmad from the uh, what was it? The Cleveland Browns for a first round pick. And considering the Saints are 0-3, their first round pick could be pretty valuable if they do not get some wins soon. They're looking for some immediate contributions from Ahmad, the second year player out of Washington, and DJ Chark, the former Jacksonville Jaguar. Third down and nine, Kyle Allen though. 
He's still looking for Michael Thomas. You trade for all these pieces, but you still know the main man in the Big Easy is number 13. And don't forget about number 41, Alvin Kamara. Oh, he's not a superstar X Factor right now, but he looks like one. Kyle Allen is a superstar X Factor. If you guys remember that commissioner carousel that we talked about during week three the new orleans saints did participate in the commissioner carousel they swapped kyle allen's abilities with alvin Kamara, so that's how that all happened second down to nine allen looking for Kamara doesn't work out there that pass is incomplete third down this is a man in motion it's a mod he's not going anywhere malik harrison has him in his grasp his third tackle of the game already for harrison and the second field goal of the game for will lutz the offense has been pretty productive for this Saints squad so far as they are hanging in pretty well for the Dolphins and well unfortunately for them two field goals to show for it if we get a touchdown here then all of a sudden this game could be busted wide open as Brashad Perriman was kind of getting nice with it out there as Tate oh he's intercepted that's Marcus Williams with the plunder the ball was intended for DeAndre Hopkins but the Saints had a beat on that one. The ball might be going to DeAndre a little bit too much. This one intended for Michael Thomas. Swatted away by Bryce Hall, the standout second-year man. Third down and eight for Kyle Allen. Standing tall and intercepted by, yes, Caden Stearns. Look at Caden Stearns fly. Allen trying to contain, which he barely does, forcing Stearns out of bounds, but not after the return. Gets him all the way to the 22-yard line. The Dolphins in prime field position. Second down and 16 up the middle. It's Mike Kosicki in the end zone. The tight end that sometimes gets lost in the shuffle finds himself in the end zone for the second touchdown of the first half for the Miami Dolphins who look like a team that is capable of passing the ball. Not something we have been able to say too much about this squad as a mod up the middle and this guy traded just not too long ago by the Cleveland Browns to the Saints is definitely playing a big factor in today's game. Already eight rushes, 50 yards, and taking away touches from Alvin Kamara. Working out just fine for the Saints, though. That check down not going to get too much. It's going to be third down and long. The Saints have been pretty good on third down so far. Allen middle. He's got Drake Juan Smith. Allen threading the needle, finding his man right before the two-minute warning. Dangerous pass intended for DJ Chark. He's lucky that was incomplete so the drive stays alive a mod up the middle watch out you don't want to take a big hit from Caden Stearns as our previous opponents have learned third down and five Allen again is money on third down and again Michael Thomas is money on any down a mod trying to knife his way in the end zone to give the Saints maybe a chance of tying the game minute 25 left Allen middle it's Thomas it's a touchdown. The Dolphins have their hands full because you can't guard Mike. No matter what we do, Michael Thomas is getting open and that needs to be addressed immediately. In the meantime, we will try to extend our one point lead with a minute 23 left in the first half. The Saints often not to chase points, which with over 11 minutes to go in this game in regulation, not a bad decision. Oh my, oh my, DeAndre Hopkins with major separation on the out route, getting sticky and getting out of bounds big as we try to score maybe a touchdown here. That's not going to help too much. That keeps the clock running. Next play, Tay downfield. He's got Hopkins. Nuke gone. Touchdown Miami again. Eli Apple, a superstar in this league, could not contain DeAndre Hopkins on that play. Who broke the press immediately. Tate saw it and delivered the dime, which is not something Khalil Tate has always been able to say. Last week, we missed DeAndre Hopkins deep downfield despite the rainy conditions. Still felt like Tate could have made that ball happen. Week one, we missed DeAndre Hopkins downfield wide open for a touchdown against the Atlanta Falcons. Oh, wow. Caden Stearns nearly changing the game. Definitely changing the way Ahmad's going to be running the ball for the rest of the game. Popping that one loose to Ron Armstead, the left, left tackle. Definitely saved the day for the Saints because that would have put the Dolphins in field goal range. Especially with the Dolphins getting the ball to start the second half. DeAndre Hopkins is lit. There's a flag on. Oh, defensive pass interference, D-Hop, he has double me 
activated and he took advantage there flag on the play for the second play in a row this time it's going against the miami dolphins and immediately holding penalty so that takes away the first down rush by lynn j dixon oh no oh yes deandre hopkins again touchdown miami nuke is going well nuke mode right now oh even marshawn Lattimore can't contain that man I mean, he has double me activated. Someone send a message to the New Orleans Saints about what double me does, because clearly he's not doubling, and DeAndre Hopkins is definitely doing him dirty. So it's now 13 to 28 game ball on the ground again, and picked up by the Saints again. This time Malik Harrison off the edge, but the Saints maintain possession, and oh, watch out! Oh, that's not even going to be pass interference. All right. Play ball. Play on. Could have been intercepted. Could have been a first down for the Saints. Instead, third down and 18. And Ricardo Allen's on fire. Everybody's on fire for this Saints team. Or this Dolphins team right now. We are riding all the waves of momentum. Allen. Nothing really open. Oh! Except Caden Stearns. Who dropped the interception. That would have given us great field position. But nonetheless, we're doing everything right right now. And for the Saints, this has to hurt. Because... They were the team that felt like was executing flawlessly, had marched downfield, gotten that touchdown to Michael Thomas, made it a one-point game, and now all of a sudden they're down by 15 points with the ball in the hand of Khalil Tate, looking for DeAndre Hopkins, who is still on fire, who is still not being doubled! Oh, wow. Marshawn Lattimore swats the ball away and forces the three and out. All that momentum gone. Double me gone. We could have had the first down. There's a slant wide open to, I believe, Grant. But, man, double me was activated. I took my chance. Unfortunately, I guess a superstar cornerback was able to break that one up in Marshawn Lattimore. And here come the Saints. They have a chance to sneak back into this game, but field goals will not get the job done. The way the Dolphins are playing today, the way we are airing this ball out, we're going to need to see some touchdowns from Kyle Allen and this Saints offensive attack. Second down and nine, Ahmad, who is having a great game on the ground, continuing that flow, getting a decent gain. And here's Ahmad again on third down and four, catching the Dolphins by surprise and moving the chains to the 37-yard line. Allen standing tall with the blitz in his face, finding the tight end. Hodges moved the chains again for the Saints. This might be their best drive of the day until now. Just like the opening drive, a sack might undo everything. Malik Harrison again forcing the pressure. Oh, Thomas nearly makes the catch. Half the Dolphins defense nearly makes the catch instead. Third down and super long down goes Allen. Avery Young probably knocked him out of field goal range, but Will Lutz is looking to try a 61 yarder, and that is good. Field goal is not good for the Saints, but in that situation, you take three points when your kicker makes a 61 yarder on fourth down in a mile. You gotta expect your defense to get a stop here, though. At some point, the Saints defense needs to stop the bleeding. Oh, but can they stop Lynn J. Dixon, who has this human joystick? He hasn't busted off any big runs so far, but... You know, when Jake Dixon is definitely finding lanes, definitely making small gains into medium gains. And that's all we can ask right now, especially with the way this offensive attack is in the air. Uh, not so much there, trying to do a jet sweep to John Brown as we go middle with Lin J trying to do a little bit too much tackling in the open field. This is going to bring up a third down along the Saints. Oh, they badly need to stop here. Khalil Tate, he's poised. He's finding Brashad Perriman in the middle of the field for the first down all the way to the 23-yard line. Tate! Oh, that ball missed Perriman and nearly found the hands of a Saints defender. Second down, Tate's got the time. Gotta let him loose. That he does. Oh, wow. DeAndre Hopkins. Is this why this, this team traded for DeAndre Hopkins or what? All the moves in the offseason and even in the first couple of weeks this season are all coming into fruition right now. Bringing Khalil Tate in, yeah, that was a good idea. Maybe not a great idea, like Josh Rosen was cool and all, but Khalil Tate, the reason why he's at our starting quarterback right now was the vision that he could eventually become worthy of being our guy. Our starting quarterback, DeAndre Hopkins, why was he brought here? To have games like this, where he has double me and he has over 200 yards receiving. Ricardo Allen, he was brought in to make a player or two in the secondary. That's about all just compensation for Josh Rosen. Why was Caden Stearns brought in? I don't think he was brought in to make the impact he has had, but... 
It's working out well for us. Why is Lin J. Dixon an X Factor? Why is Derek Brown an X Factor? They're showing you today. It's all working out as that ball is forced incomplete. 641 left in the game. The Saints in borderline desperation mode. Oh, that's not going to be caught in bounds. A great throw, but Chark can't get both the two feet in. Now, fourth down and seven. Game pretty much on the line here for the Saints. Got to convert, and they will. Kyle Allen finding Traquan Smith as the defense tried to focus in on Michael Thomas. Smith gets open underneath. He moves the chains and on the next play, it's Thomas again. Normally, this Dolphins defense does not have problems with superstar receivers, but today, Michael Thomas is giving these boys the work. We did not come in prepared to try to stop Michael Thomas, but then again, that is partially why Michael Thomas was named the Offensive Player of the Year in the actual NFL, right? The Saints do not onside kick in this situation, which is a bit interesting. Down by 11, 6 and 11 left. Do you think they would try the onside kick? Doesn't happen here. They just kick it deep. They're going to rely on their defense to get a stop, which, um, you know, we'll see how that works out for them. Hasn't worked out too well so far. Quill take downfield. He's looking for Hopkins. And Marshawn Lattimore wins that battle again. Forces the incompletion. Second down. Tate's got to let him loose. He does. Nice completion to Jakeem Grant. Take the yards that are there. It's now third down and five. We got to get at least five, if not more. And we're definitely looking for more. And we will get it this time. Yes, DeAndre Hopkins comes up with the grab. Big first down a play that DeAndre did not make against the Buffalo Bills he makes it this time around and that play is definitely not gonna work we have ourselves a third down along we'll try to look for DeAndre Hopkins again instead we go underneath to Lin J Dixon very conservative throw here by Khalil Tate even though it's not gonna get a first down three minutes left in the game we chewed up some clock in that drive that is I would say a somewhat successful drive at this point you know just gotta make sure we don't give up a quick touchdown with the Saints having all three of their timeouts, just make sure we cover over the top, take some time away from this thing, maybe force a turnover, and try to get out of here with a W. This has been a well-played game so far by both sides. We just need this game to end with Kyle Allen on fire. And the Saints are not helping out their cause right now, trying to run the ball and losing yards, keeping the clock moving. This will be the last play before the two-minute warning, and it's going to be a sack by the big brown truck. Derek Brown, he is on fire now on fourth down and 21. Oh, Kyle Allen, did he stand the chance? Did he ever have a chance with Derek Brown lit up to get that ball off, to even get that ball off? I don't know. Lynn J. Dixon going to try to pound this game out as the Saints using their timeouts to preserve whatever chance they have at making a miracle in Miami happen. Third down and six, eh? and the Dolphins are actually looking to pass. Curious decision there. That's going to end up as a sack. Curious blocking there by the right side. I believe Marcus Gilbert just gave that one up immediately. We end up settling for the field goal there. The Saints burn up all their timeouts on that goal line stand. It is a 14-point game, so two touchdowns, two PATs will tie the game up, but obviously you need an onside kick at some point in this game and yeah like I said we're just gonna cover everything over the top keep everything in bounds watch that clock shoot out definitely make us happy minute 13 left in the game every moment Kyle Allen tries to dial up a hot route fine by us now minute eight left in the game tick tock tick tock clock is fine or play is finally snapped look at Derek Brown inside there man you gotta get this ball out quick because Derek Brown is unstoppable force he has to be doubled and even that's not enough down Michael Thomas has to be doubled but then again sometimes that's not enough Michael Thomas again oh man Michael Thomas is definitely doing his thing out here that's for certain so why not go to Mike again this time finally we make a play on the ball Bryce Hall with the interception Hall has been a bit quiet this season as opposed to last season but Bryce Hall is still not a man you want to throw at too many times the Miami Dolphins do indeed stay undefeated we move to a 5-0 record after a win against the Saints it was on paper you know, it's supposed to end this way, right? But, you know, you play the game, you watch the game, and, you know, you realize the Saints could have easily won that one, and it was a fun battle, man. Like, it was definitely a fun game that we play, win, lose, or draw. And that's how I feel about a lot of these CFM games, man. Like, when win, lose, or draw, a lot of these games are pretty fun. Playing against the Saints, that was a fun game, man. We just happened to make more of the winning plays, and the Saints just happened to not double DeAndre Hopkins for a drive. That gave us, like, a free touchdown. DeAndre Hopkins, man, what a game he had. Like, 200 and what, 67 yards? Like, that is insane. That is absolutely insane. So, 
Um, before we end today's video, we are going to go over some of our season stats. Last time we went over league-wide stats. This time we're going to go over stats from within our Dolphins team to see how everyone's doing because it's been a very weird season so far, right? Like, we haven't exactly uh, had the ball in offense a lot. It feels like our defense is outsnapping our offense every single week, and I don't think that changed this week. So as a result, we have one of the worst passing attacks, and Quill Tate's stats are going to look pretty bad, but... I mean, we are 5-0, and oh, and we are somewhat figuring out this whole, you know, passing the ball thing after last week, just give the, or that game, just give the ball to DeAndre Hopkins and let him do his thing. So next week, we take on the Jacksonville Jaguars. That should be a pretty interesting game. As you guys see, Lynn J. Dixon, he is on pace for getting a thousand yards rushing, which is something we haven't had on this Dolphins team in this entire CFM. So that would be nice. DeAndre Hopkins definitely on pace for a thousand yards receiving after that spectacular performance otherwise though we need to get colin johnson and jakeen grant a bit more involved in this passing game i feel like so maybe that's something we try to focus on for next week against the jaguars get some of our other weapons besides deandre involved because now that we know we can get deandre involved and it's not that hard it's not rocket science we can now get everybody else a piece of the pie as you guys check out the defense the defense is definitely balling out this season Malik Harrison Derek Brown Jerome Baker racking up some sacks in here and then you just see you know the Caden Stearns and Love Fest out here he's leading the league are leading the team in tackles interceptions deflections forced fumbles Caden Stearns definitely a potential defensive player of the year candidate we'll try to keep our eye on that but i'll pretty much do it for today's video leave a like if you guys enjoyed what you guys saw today subscribe for more madden 20 gameplays especially if you guys want to keep up with this online cfm and i will catch you guys next time thank you as always for watching